really the motivation is I always liked these poems of Mike's, The Mad Angler. And the message in those poems is somebody who's mad about the state of the world and the state of water use and our culture. And so I thought it'd be really awesome to illustrate this poetry with music. The Mad Angler is, he's mad, as Chris said, about the state of affairs that rivers find themselves in, especially uh, Michigan rivers are, are particularly under siege right now. Um, there's probably going to be a recreational crisis coming on, on lots of northern Michigan rivers. There's just too many people on them. And they're, they're pretty non-regulated. They can't regulate themselves. Uh, and the mad angler is also pretty crazy at times. So that's really what, what this is all about, is to praise this thing that if we didn't have, we wouldn't be here. It's just cool to get mad with, with the angler here. <laughs> Just get a little yeah, crazy on the mad. cello. Yeah. It, it's uh, it's great to illustrate words with with sound. Get a little on, get to explore the edgy side of it. Is yeah, when is you hear, the cool, the cool when stuff. When you hear that deep, that deep sound come out of the cello, that's that's the heart of where this comes from. The, the, I'm not saying it's deep poetry by by any. Uh, I am though. Any, there, there there's some deep shit in there. Yeah, well, it really I don't know. is. I, You're I going don't, deep. I, I don't know about that, but uh, it's there's a there's a resonating part down in there that just vibrates, and the best part of this whole thing for me was to, <laughs> was to listen to him on the cello with a pair of headphones on. I forgot to read. It's so uh, absorbing, and I'm I mean I'm right down inside that cello. Well, it, it, the, the words also are pretty visceral. Yeah, there's some visceral stuff in there. And when you think of water running under the ground, and we're talking about the aquifer, yeah, that's deep. Mm -hmm. And so it just seemed real easy to create some mm -hmm. sound images that would go deep with the ideas coming out in the words. Yeah, if I had Sounds to pick a spirit animal that these come from, it would be a wolverine and not a not a chickadee you know the wolverines uh, he's a pretty ferocious creature and so that's where they that's the spirit animal that speaks I think and at the end of this project the wolverine rears its head <laughs> yeah yeah some poems that are powered by strong feelings and opinions and powerful images and some musical rants to go along with it you're going to get some world-class cello, is what you're going to get. And it'll be nice to see everybody come out to hear Chris play. It's, and hear Mike read. No, to hear you play. And, and it's about a 40-minute presentation uh, that has a real nice arc to it. And just for cello and voice, we're not competing. He reads, I play. He reads, I play. He recites, I play. Looking it's forward to it. It's a beautiful building. It's yeah. very cool, especially inside looking yeah, up at the rafters. Yeah. It's like a, it's kind of like a cathedral. I hope I hope a lot of people come just for fun uh, and yeah. get a CD. This is important stuff. What Flo is doing is important, and this is this is a great vehicle to get some of that message out. It's just one more opportunity to raise money to shut down Line Five and to. Uh, really preserve and protect what we have around us because it's just getting overrun. So.